In the summer of 1828, Joseph Smith let Martin Harris borrow the first 116 pages of the Book of Mormon's translation. Unfortunately, Martin Harris lost the manuscript, and its contents have never been recovered. But recently, drawing upon several lines of evidence, scholars have been able to reconstruct a number of topics, themes, and even direct statements that most likely were part of the 116 pages. First, when explaining the loss of the pages, Joseph Smith said in the preface to the first edition published in 1830 that it contained the Book of Lehi. This is supported by statements made by Nephi, who on several occasions stated that he was giving a shortened account of his father's writings. Nephi's account of his father's opening vision was likely taken directly from Lehi's record. We can find other references to what was on the lost pages by looking at perplexing references later on in the Book of Mormon that seem to refer to earlier unfamiliar events. These include references to such things as the account of Aminadi and details about what happened in Lehi's wilderness journeys. Also, later writers attribute statements to Lehi that aren't found earlier in the books of 1st or 2nd Nephi or Jacob. Surprisingly, the Doctrine and Covenants may contain information that can also help fill in some gaps about the 116 pages. For example, Doctrine and Covenants section 3 specifically mentions the seven tribes of Lehi. Their presence in this revelation, dictated soon after Martin Harris lost the manuscript, suggests that this standard list of tribes was an important piece of information found among the lost pages, as it reappears in the books of Jacob, 4th Nephi, and Mormon. Perhaps the most intriguing line of evidence comes from 19th century historical documents, especially from an interview recorded by Fayette Lapham. Lapham never became a Latter-day Saint but he did record a discussion he had with Joseph Smith's father. Through careful analysis, one scholar has persuasively argued that Lapham's report does indeed contain several authentic details from the 116 pages. These include a story about Lehi building a tabernacle in the wilderness in the Old World, a wilderness journey by a group in the New World guided by the Liahona, the discovery of an artifact that can be reasonably identified as the Nephite interpreters, an encounter with the Lord at a veil, and a report of when the Liahona stopped working. These details are all fascinating because in one way or another, they help explain perplexing content or fill in missing background information about known Book of Mormon stories. Studying what may have been in the lost 116 pages can lead to interesting and rewarding investigations. While it is unfortunate that this information got lost, these remnants can help us answer questions about Book of Mormon passages that may otherwise seem odd or confusing. These surviving traces also show that ultimately the work of the Lord was prepared for and was not frustrated by this very disappointing loss. And now you know why. <laughs>